So how do you tell the story of Jesus in a communist nation like Laos? I've got a list here of the 50 nations of the world that are the worst in persecuting Christians, and the country of Laos is number nine. Wow. You know, God's been working in through Mission Sunday in Laos since 1993. That's when Jean and I made our first trip there. And we met a family named Wilachai. There was a dad, Kun Si, and there was an older brother, John, younger brother, Bun Lert, and a younger daughter, uh, Duangbani. And they met in this uh, termite-infested shack, and that's where the, the church met. Three years after that, 1993, Jean and I were living in Vinjan, the capital city of Laos. The church was meeting in our home. And we had a project through Partners in Progress. And Boon Lerd and John, these two Laotian men, were now working on that project. So a couple of pictures. This first picture shows the, the church meeting in our home in, in June of 1996. Think how long ago that was. And John is right there behind Jean in the white shirt. Then the second picture is John getting married in our house. Jean did the wedding cake and I did the ceremony. The first Christian wedding in the country of Laos. Third picture, there's John on our project team, drilling water wells. He's the guy in the uh, yellow hat. Now this fourth picture you've seen. That was the arrest, the picture that went around the world in January 30th, 1998. 49 folks, the whole church were arrested, put in jail. And you can see John, uh, he's number three. His face doesn't show, but he's in, in that picture. And then this next shot, uh, is the headlines of the Arizona Republic on January, uh, February the 4th, 1998. Talked about this Arizona missionary that was arrested. Uh, I was in jail five days and then deported after seven days, but the men that were with us and worked with our project, worked in the church, uh, and that's John and Boon Lerd and Kun Si, they all received a three-year prison sentence for an illegal Christian assembly, and they served 18 months in prison. Now this last picture is a picture of John today. This is his family with two children. Uh, he's matured as a Christian. He now leads the church that has to still meet in secret in this communist country. But he recognizes that he doesn't have the Bible training and Bible knowledge that he needs to grow the church and build a church in his nation. So who's going to tell Laotians about Jesus? You know, my wife Jean would go back to Laos in a minute. She loved Vin Jun, the capital. But I've been back three times and they won't let me cross the border. So who's going to tell the Laotians in this communist country about Jesus? John is Laotian, he lives in Laos, and he's got a heart to share the gospel with the Laotian people. He wants to go to a Bible training school in Thailand that's operated by our brethren, and it would take $200 a month to support him for two years. Hmm. What a, a thrill it would be to me to build on this foundation that we established back 20 years ago to now take one of those men that went through that prison, that went through that persecution, and now wants to equip himself to preach the gospel in Laos. What a great challenge for Mission Sunday. Who's going to tell the people of Laos about Jesus? John would be the man. Thank you.